so because you know we're in the space and so in, in general in the healthcare space i think we were very attuned you know for example we you know we we shut down our office way before um you know all the kind of other companies and so on were uh, uh in order initially actually we shut down our office to protect our lab uh our lab team because you know we we're like okay just the density of humans increases likelihood we'll have an outbreak and you know who are the people that have to be here to do their work we want to keep them safe and so we initially so we but we kind of got kind of deep into the you know what's going on with covid and trying to understand it just to protect our own people um progressively as that was happening um i think one of the things that kept kept being really striking is like um and one thing that struck me i feel, I feel at the time was like you know we feel when the world is kind of running you always think that there are people behind the curtain that you know make stuff work like like you know and you know i think a lot of us were convinced that you know we see all the movies and we think like okay you know something like this happens someone in dc is going to press a button and you know people in hazmat suits descend and they're going to you know solve everything you know in in a, you know in a few days and it's fine but you realize like you know there's no one behind the curtain it's like and it's like you know we it's just us it's like pe people like us <laughs> and one of the things that you know for, for us that really started you know uh you know ticking for us was like you know a this is increasingly seeming like a uh a singular event like probably the biggest health crisis of our generation and it was increasingly being clear like very like you know early march that was like very clear that was probably where we were heading um and b we felt like we were like one derivative away, one degree away from being able to have a very big impact. Like, you know, the question we're asking ourselves is like, okay, clearly no one has a clue what's going on right now. And so if not us, who, right? Like if it's not people like us who can make a difference then who will, who will like, and we couldn't come up with a better answer at some level. And so we just started like, if there's initially a very small group of people. Like there was like, literally it was uh, four people where we were spending about 18 hours a day calling everyone we knew who was somewhere in the space just to get their perspectives and to understand like their hypothesis where things were going. And after like a, a couple of weeks, we came up with a few conclusions. Like one was we felt on the testing capacity side, there was a big dearth of just basic testing capacity. And we felt we could actually, we had built, we run an incredible lab in Burlingame, like um, because of all the work we do in genetics, which is actually much more involved than COVID testing. We're like, you know, we actually are running one of the most interesting high complexity labs in the country. We think we can take a relatively unique approach to actually running COVID testing. And then equally importantly was like, you know, from our genetic experience, like what I was talking about earlier was like, you can make all the beautiful technology you want, but you can't get it to people in the US because we don't have a public health system. Um, and that to us was actually a much bigger blind spot that the in, that we felt was very generalized and we felt we had a better answer for and i think that ended up transforming the company in a very deep way where like you know right now we're do, we're running you know some of the biggest like covid testing programs in the country we're running some of the biggest vaccine programs in the country where it's like it's all about that simple last mile how do you disseminate very basic healthcare building blocks deep into people's lives and to us that felt like actually that was there was going to be a, a repeated version of that as we all kind of evolved through the crisis. Um, and so, but initially it was like, started off as four people. We and it then started working on the, on, on building our lab side and then working on the software side, again, like as small grassroots effort. I mean, the initial, it went from four people to maybe about 20 people that were involved in the kind of the core thing. And then it kind of like spiraled from there. And so, uh, and uh, it just kept growing, so. 